Olá, tudo bem? I'm Emma from Portuguese Language Lessons. In this short video, I'm going to introduce to you one of my favorite tenses, the personal infinitive. Let's have a look then. So here, some examples. Falar, for eu. Conduzires, for tu. Acabar, for anyone in the third group. Ela, ela, você. Comermos, for nós. And partirem, for elas, elas, vocês. So, it's called infinitive because we're working off of the infinitive. We always leave the verb exactly how it is with the R, the, the letter R at the end. And then if necessary, we add an ending. Nothing in the third, first and third person. Ej, moj, ain for the other people. Okay. There are no, no irregular verbs. How great is that? Every single verb does exactly this. So, it's fantastic. And we, you probably come across it a lot and don't realize that it's this special tense because in, in the first and third person, it's just the infinitive. It's got no tense. So it goes along with what the rest of the sentence it's in, um, the time of that. So if you've got a present tense sentence, it means the present. If you've got a past sen test sentence, it means the past. Let's look at when we use it and some examples. We use it after prepositions and prepositional expressions like para, and the, pasar de, no caso de, sem, etc. So, para passar no exam, tens de estudar muito. So, for, in order to pass the exam, you have to study a lot. And the saírem, desligavam o computador. So, before they left, they would turn off the computer. So here we've got the past tense um, there. And then, apesar de estar muito frio, vamos passear. Despite being very cold, let's go for a walk. Okay. And we also use it after impersonal expressions, the ones with é e and the adjective. So here we've got examples of é e importante trazeres o portátil contigo. It's important that you bring the laptop with you. Era melhor estudarmos na sala. It was better that we studied in the living room. Não vai ser provável já acabarem o exam. It's not going to be very likely that they have already finished the exam. Okay. Um, and then the third, the third case of when we use this this is less common, we come across it more in stories and books after the word ao and this means upon or when so things like ao receber a notícia o João ficou contentíssimo upon receiving the news João um, became really happy okay. okay, so you can see how this is super easy to use it's always triggered by specific words that that's how we know it's the personal infinitive and it doesn't really have any exact equivalent in English so a lot of people are reluctant to use it because it, it the translation isn't always the same but I really really recommend using it I can't say how how much of a shortcut it is to facilitate speaking Portuguese and writing Portuguese correctly and nicely. Plus, if you um, know anything about the conjunctival tense, this is a fantastic alternative to the conjunctival in many of the cases. Okay, I hope this video has been useful. Ciao, ciao!